Live 5 News, as I'm sure you know, is the Low Country's news leader. But we also keep you updated with what's making headlines in the State House with our Capitol reporter, PJ Randawa. She joins us now here at Live 5 News. PJ, so good to have you down from the capital city of Columbia. Our parent company is Raycom, as we all know. They own us, they own a station in Myrtle Beach and in Columbia. Why do you think it's so important, PJ, to have a capital city reporter like you in Columbia? Well, as you know, Bill, the population of South Carolina is spread out in a lot of rural communities, and it's really important for those people to know how their state representatives and senators are representing their interests, making their lives better. And we deal with a lot of complex issues at the State House, taxes, mm -hmm. how your money is going to work for you. These people need to know what's going to be done to make their lives better. And I take a lot of pride in having that job and working through these complex issues to get that information out there, you know, what's going to happen in your schools with your roads, um, what's life like in South Carolina, and again, how is it going to get better? I think that's very important for people to know. I do too. What are some of the big issues you see on the near horizon coming out of Columbia, PJ, like next year perhaps? Right. Well, as we know, ethics did die a terrible death in the legislature this year. A lot of people felt that ethics reform was something that needed to come to the State House. It didn't, but a lot of legislators uh, have their sights set on bringing that issue back. And again, I think across the nation, all eyes are on our governor's race. Governor Haley has not announced whether she will seek re-election, but we are anxiously awaiting that news and we're getting a look at some of the candidates who may emerge. It's a very interesting, it's a very exciting time to be in South Carolina politics. It is. Do you think she's going to run again? I think she will. Um, if you look at some of her media events, they're, they're promoting uh, development in South Carolina jobs and I think it's a reflection of what she wants people to think her time in office has been like. So this could be a repeat if she decides to run again from the election four years ago, couldn't it? When Vincent Shaheen was the Democrat, he wants to be the Democratic uh, choice again. He could run against uh, Nikki Haley again. Right. He has come out to say he is running. And, you know, the margins were so small last time that really anything could happen this time around. It certainly could. Now, PJ, quickly, I've got to ask you this before we go. We don't have much time left. But tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Where have you worked? Well, I moved here from uh, the other southern state, uh, South Dakota. Very different. Um, so Who is this woman right here on the screen? Is that you? Oh, yes. yes, it is. So you moved here from South Dakota. What other experience have you had? Well, I was a morning anchor there, and I anchored for five surrounding states. So I got a lot of exposure, woke up uh, at the ungodly hour of uh, 3 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Well, P.J. Randawa, good to have you with us, and it's a pleasure to have you in the state capitol. Look forward to your reporting. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here in the Low Country. It's our pleasure to have you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.